All right, so I just went over um, your category archive and search templates. So if you searched or whatever, or went to like a news category, you have control over them. The uh, one downside to these are you have to set, you know, a column and post count globally. So, you know, your search and your category templates all have to have the same count. So you may not want that. Um, you may want specific control over a category, or you might want to display multiple categories on a page. So we built in a way to do that. So we do that with a page. So we'll, we'll call this one uh, multiple category blog page. And we are going to uh, select a template. And this is where a lot of the control comes from. You can choose how many columns you want, and, we'll, and it will only affect this page. So let's go ahead and just uh, let's do two two columns for now, and uh, <clears throat> we'll publish this page, and I'll view it on another page. So now our next step is let's decide what posts we want to pull in here in our two column blog layout. So we'll go to categories, and let's go ahead and check out our our. Um, some of these categories. So let's go and do featured and news. So if I edit that page, you'll notice this blog page category option, and you can add um, categories. So let's go and do news first, and then I'll show you how to expand that. Let me go ahead and open this up in a new tab. So now we're pulling in our news category. But let's say you want news and featured. All we need to do is put a, a comma and then. Um, whatever this slug is right here featured so we'll do news comma featured and make sure you know how many spaces in this uh, you just do a comma and then no space for dividing those out so now when I refresh the page we're pulling in news and featured posts so um, this just gives you a lot more control over if you want um, a specific category page so Let's go ahead and create another one and we'll just call this one single category example. And we'll just pull in featured. And the column layout that we want to do is a four column layout. So let's go ahead and publish this and we'll view our page now. And you'll see our single column examples only pulling in one, but with four columns, um, one category of four columns. And you can pull in however many or how few categories as you want. Um, so this just gives you a bunch of more control. And then under theme options, under this blog tab, the one option that really affects these is called page template post per page. And this is where you set how many posts you want per uh, these blog templates. So if I wanted uh, two, for example, I can make it two. And then it'll paginate to the next two. So that is um, how you have a lot of control over your um, items.